Hello everyone, I'm Betty. Today I'm going to talk about how to find unique colors and combinations. As an illustrator, have you struggled in finding the colors? It's always nice to find something unique for you and uh, inspiration for you to draw. So today I'm going to talk about several ideas uh, about colors and how can you find your unique colors or you want to find color inspiration or you want to find color combination in your design as well. So let's get started. First, use color theory to find color harmony. This is the color wheel. Choose one color that you want to use from the hue. Then the first tip is monochromatic colors. Adjust the saturation and value to have the combination. This is the Procreate panel. I like to find the combinations by increasing or reducing it. There is a curve in the middle that you can try to find the colors too. So you can get the colors like this. This was my drawing and you can see how it will look like. The second tip is analogous colors. You can choose the colors that are next to the one that you want to use on the wheel such as blue, light blue, and purple. Here is the color combination that you will have and my drawing for your reference. In this color scheme, you can try to lower at the value and the saturations to find something unique. Tip 3. Complementary colors. You can use colors opposite to each other to be your secondary color. Usually, I will use it as my secondary color in my drawing to highlight the elements and make them pop up. Here is my drawing to use this color scheme. How do you arrange your colors on your drawing or design? Here is my tip for you. I would say it's 60%, 30%, and 10%. I usually use 60% as the main color and the 30% could be my secondary colors. 10% could be the pop-up colors like complementary. I think this is a good formula that you can follow. Next, I want to talk about finding colors on Procreate. So, as you can see here, this is your color wheel. So, usually I will choose one color that I prefer, maybe like blue. And the next one, this is the harmony one. So you can see here is the complementary colors. So usually it will be a good fit if you choose. I choose the color here and I will increase the saturation and lower the shadow. And now you can find the shadow for this one. Tools for your color inspiration. Here are some useful free websites for you to find color inspirations. I will put a link in my description so you can check my description to go to the websites. So I will share two very useful websites with you and this one is Adobe Color. This is a very useful website so here you can see the color wheel. You can have uh, different colors here based on the color wheel. And uh, you can see the title here. You can see how um, different color scheme like like what we talk analogous and, uh, and the monochromatic and complementary too. This is the one function of Adobe Color. I, I think this is very useful if you want to find some color inspiration, you can go on here. And another very useful function that I super recommend is extra the thing. You can upload a image that you take or the color you want. And you can see here, you can get a color palette here and you can um, evaluate the color and you can see how it look like. This is something I really recommend and also you can have the gradient here too. 
And another one is that you can go to explore, and you can see the cover palettes that other artists or other creative they had been used. So you can adapt the color to your drawings or your design. And another one is that what's trending now. You can go to the trends, and you can discover a lot of unique. Color palettes here, from photo to illustrations. I think this is a very useful website if you want to find some unique inspiration, and you can see how people uh, adapt it to their drawings or photos. So that's Adobe Color. Next one, I want to talk about coolers. This is an online website too, and they also have an app. But I never tried the app, so I didn't know how it will be like. But I think you can try to download it. So here you can see the trending color palettes, and you can see how many people save it. And also, they have a lot of different functions that you can use. And the one thing I really like is that you can see the color that you want, and you also can see the variations like their shades and their their analogous and the complementary. So in this in this section, you can see different. Combinations here. I just made a 30 palette bundles for everyone, and it includes a proposal with some basic color theories and the 30 color palettes I used for drawing. So you can see how I draw. And you can have the palette as well, so you can install the palette into your Procreate, so you will get the color palette I have. So I think that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something from it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to me. See you next time.